How you doing, buddy? Hi, I'm Jim, and uh, my friend Frank and I have been running uh, our vehicles, our diesel vehicles, we've been running them on vegetable oil for a couple, of years, close to three years now. We get our vegetable oil from restaurants. They, they throw out the fry later grease, we bring it back here, collect it from a, a bunch of different restaurants, uh, we bring the grease back here, and we bring it into our very neat and tidy shop here. <clears throat> if, we, if we knew you we were coming, we'd have cleaned it up, but we didn't know, so it's a mess. The first thing we do is we take the vegetable oil home in these things, and we pour them into these settling tanks through a screen. So we put the grease in these settling tanks. There's about six inches of sand on the bottom of the tank, and the water that's in the grease gets trapped in the sand. We put it in the settling tanks, let it settle for two weeks. At least two days, two weeks is better, but minimum two days. Then we pump the grease below the top, above the bottom. We pump out the middle section. With this pump, this pump here pulls the grease out of the settling tank and pushes the grease through these filters. One, two, three filters. This filters the grease down to one micron, separates the water from the grease, takes the water out and filters out all the small particles. This pump pulls the grease through the filters from this side. So we have one pump pushing, one pump pulling. By the time the grease is pulsed, pushed and pulled through this last filter, it's filtered to one micron, and the water is the uh, water comes out in this water separator filter. From there, it goes through this hose. After it goes through this pump, it goes out through this hose and out into our our filling station. This hose here, we put that right in the car, the diesel car, and we fill the car up. It, it's almost free. That's almost free. You have to gather the grease, you have to filter the grease, and you have to pay tax on the use tax. You have to pay 50, 54 cents a gallon here in, in Maine. We have state tax and federal tax. We keep track of the consumption, and then we pay the tax at the end of the year for the use tax. If you use vegetable oil as a fuel, you have to pay a use tax. Now this car here, this is a 1979 Mercedes two-door coupe diesel. This car is about $10,000. It's for sale if anybody wants to buy it. <laughs> and um, this car runs on it. Two separate fuel systems. The diesel tank itself, we have to mix five gallons of grease clean grease with a half a gallon of kerosene, a quarter gallon of gasoline, four ounces of uh, diesel supplement. Like diesel that. supplement is something that um, all the truckers use. It's all uh, right. And then, and then there's the stuff that we buy, that Jim buys online. It's called Diesel Secret. And um, it, it's not a secret, but I think it's actually acetone, but I haven't really checked that out yet. But uh, we buy, he buys that online, and we put one ounce in, and we mix those ingredients, the, f the five gallons, the half a gallon, the quarter gallon, the four ounces, and the one gallon together. We put that in the diesel tank. That starts the car, gets the car running. When the car, the car engine hits 150 degrees, the conversion kit switches over to the grease tank, which then burns straight grease. And I, I say it again, the grease has got to be clean. You know, we, ha we have to filter the grease. One micron. This is all filtered, ready to go. This goes in the alternative tank, which is the heated tank. I have two systems in the car. The heated tank from greasecar.com, and then the stock tank that is in the car is from, you know, we use the diesel secret fuel. Right? Yeah. Ya llevamos una semana